Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look here at NEO stock. Now I made almost $800 trading this stock over the last two days on the setup that I showed you guys just in my last video on NEO. So again guys, it's no secret why I took this trade. I do want to share with you guys what exact strike I bought when I notified this trade, why I took this trade so you guys can learn from it. And I do want to also talk about what I see in the future for NEO stock and what I'm going to be doing moving forward with my specific option play in case anybody followed that play in the free discord, which is going to be linked down in the description below. So again, guys, if you haven't checked out the free discord yet, there's really no reason not to. And I'm going to show you exactly right now. This is the options play that I made. I am still on the play, so it is still open and live. But right now we are after hours, so the play is not moving in value until at least Monday of next week. And as you guys can see here, I've made around $700 since the play was open. Now, if you did see Neil's price action on the day, they were up till around 40, 50 today at the highs. And I did not sell out because I was planning on holding for the long term. Even though I only have a couple of weeks with this option, I do think that I can still gain more value coming into next week or even coming into the next few weeks with NEO stock if I do decide to roll this over. But looking at these contracts, guys, you can see that I'm up 25% or almost the equivalent of $400 on the day. And right now, I want to show you also when I notified this, this is going to be the very easy to follow instructions that I post here on the Discord. And you're going to want to find these under the Robinhood Simplified Trades tab. Now, again, like I said, this is completely free to join and check out. So I, I really don't see any reason not to. And right now, these are the three plays that I mentioned, Neo, Apple, and DraftKings. As you guys can see, all of these three were breaking out the other day or just yesterday, actually, when I mentioned this on the 21st. And right now, we are reaping the rewards of these crazy breakouts. The first one with Neo and DraftKings were my best plays of this week. But on Apple, I did end up selling out on the play of just a couple dollars profit. So really break even. And there was nothing special with Apple this week. That's why I made my last video on Apple. So again, guys, if you haven't seen that, check it out. There was a very tough piece of news coming for Apple stock. But for some reason, this news has not affected Neo. Now, this news is having to do with the capital gains tax, which as you guys can see with the new news that came out, it's going to be raised into the future, especially for long term investments. And with Neo here, this is not really going to be a big deal because a lot of the investors are less than a year old on this company. But with companies like Apple or Boeing, very, very long term companies that have years of price action behind them are going to be seeing a downturn in this week at least or at least next week sorry when the week starts so again guys that's going to be something to watch out for but i do think that a lot of the money is going to rotate into new positions so i don't think that it's going to completely leave the market and i think that we're going to see a lot of these plays like DraftKings or neo really have a resurgence again as a result of these longer term plays Apple, Tesla, etc., starting to cool down from this news that Biden just released today. So again, guys, this is going to be an extremely good piece of news for investors who are on Neo or etc. Like this, I don't think that we're going to see a pullback again. I think that we're going to continue to see a breakout like what we identified here on the chart. But again, guys, if this play does pull back, then I really wouldn't buy puts on it because I feel like there is a lot more upside here at this $35 a share price than downside. And really, we should be betting to the upside here with a yearly call or something more long term if you are an investor on NEO. So again, guys, that's a great thing to consider. But this is a small update on NEO. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed this play. If anybody else took profits, make sure you write down below how much percentage you made on this play. I'm really, really excited to bring you more in the future. But as always, guys, check out all the links in the description. I hope you enjoyed or learned something new. And I hope all your plays are in the green.